Hi guys, welcome to another chem tutorial. So today we are looking at balancing half equations. So again, this is um, um, suitable for any NCA level two and NCA level three chemistry students. Um, so let's get into it. So today, not so long of intro, let's just get straight into some balancing half equations. So half equations is absolutely essential um, for redox. You need to understand um, what is happening in terms of um, what's turning to what and how do you balance the equations because that's what actually happens in the um, in the reaction um, because when we think about redox I mentioned this in my oxidation number video it is to do with the it's mostly redox reactions mostly applicable in electricity generation or you know batteries and all that sort of thing so anything that involves electricity involves electrons and redox is it pretty much just movement of electrons okay so let's go into this so i listed down the four steps of balancing a half equation now again just for nca students we normally just look at acidic condition um, for basic conditions so again if you ib or doing ib or cambridge probably um, you can um, find that in somewhere else because it's, it's just one extra step um, so if you understand the basic stuff is it shouldn't be too hard to do the basic conditions okay so let's have a look so we balance unique elements anything that's not H or no um, balance the O by adding water balance the H by adding H plus ions and then you are changing the charge so the best way to um, if you want to you can take a screenshot and then but the best way is that we are going to go into today's recording with some questions and I'll start with I'll start with the most difficult one okay now there are four steps and you need to ask yourself these four steps every time you balance half equations especially if you're just starting with them um, with this particular concept um, because for some really easy ones you can just step uh, you can skip a lot of the steps like because it doesn't involve like not everything have O's not everything have H's you don't need to do those steps um, but it is good to practice at the beginning just ask yourself do I have it done this okay not required do the next one not required do the next one oh I need to do this and just go through the list and you know do five balancing half equations and then you don't need the list anymore you just become you just become a habit okay so first thing first let's get to the dichromatine and the chromium ion half equation so first thing first I look at the CR I look at the CR so step one now I'm just gonna do this in one one go. Like when I normally do this on whiteboard, I write it down like four times just to show how it works. Um, but you know, um, the power of YouTube, you can the videos, recordings, you can listen to it, you know, play back and hear it again if um, I'm going too fast. Um, so let's go. So with the CR, there are two CRs on the left hand side. There's one CR on the right hand side. Now don't get confused with the charges. The charges simply means if it gained electrons, lost electrons, it has nothing to do with the quantity of how many of these atoms you have. So for the chromium, I have two here, one here. So the first thing you need to do is to balance the rule number one, put the two before the CR3 plus. And I will say at least 50% of the people that get like say with the because chromic dichromate ions this this particular combination is one of the hardest ones it's probably the hardest ones at level two and one of the hardest ones at level three and if you if you and this the fifty percent of people that get this wrong is because they miss this first step, uh, the first step. They just go straight into the O's, into the H's, into the electron. They forget about the two in front of the the uh, the CR three plus. So that's step one. Step two. There I have seven O's on the left hand side. I need to have seven O's on the right hand side, and I balance the O's by adding water. So because by adding seven water, I've added seven O's. So I got seven O's here. I got seven O's here. Happy happy but when you added water you also added H's so you added now this is the thing when you add a 7 H2O now because I'm I, I do this for a living so I can see it straight away so you got seven lots of H2O one lot of H2O is two H's and there are seven H2 molecules so seven times two you have 14 H's on the right hand side you have 14 H's you need 14 H's on the left hand side so it's 14 H plus if you don't put the plus we are going to be very very unhappy because what does the H plus actually stand for it stands for acidic conditions so go back to your acids and bases again so H plus means it's acidic OH minus means it's um, alkaline okay so 
I've done my H plus, I've done my H's, okay? Now the last thing, which is something that people get confused of um, most of the time, is they get confused with the electron, they don't know where it goes. Because when we do all of this balancing by adding H pluses, by adding um, O H two O's, H pluses, we are you know, and then balancing these, we are actually changing the charge. But you need to understand that the charge, you know, the the whole purpose of balance equation is that in any reaction you don't create or destroy anything they simply turn into something else so if you started with x amount of particles you should make x amount of particles so you know um, the conservation of um, energy or the conservation of material so in this case we need to look at the charge and if you're not so confident with us just follow my step just look at each individual um, each individual one separately all right, look at the CR2072 minus. You look at the top right-hand side corner. I'm just gonna start highlighting all of these. You look at the top right-hand side corner for the charge. This is minus two, because um, that's what I've highlighted. And then this is plus one for one H, but look at that number in front of it. There are 14 H, plus, uh, H pluses, so this is plus 14. So on the left-hand side, I have negative two, and a negative four to, uh, plus 14 combined together, that's positive 12. Let, let's look at the right-hand side. Um, each CR has a plus three, but again, there are two CRs, so that's gonna be two times plus three, that's gonna be plus six. And then water has nothing because there's nothing there, so it's a big fat zero. So on the right-hand side, my oxidation, uh, my charge is plus six, my left-hand side is plus 12. We add electrons to the more positive side. This is more positive by how many? By six. So we add six electrons to balance this particular um, equation. Okay. And another tip, um, because we are learning, uh, we're learning redox, you know, oxidation reduction reaction. If you have electrons on the left hand side of the equation, you have a reduction reaction. Okay, so redox. Okay, so if the electrons on the left hand side, and then that's a reduction reaction. Okay, so that's a very easy way for you to identify because the electrons are being gained. All right, if the electrons are on the right hand side, the electrons are being lost. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do the another difficult one. Um, so here it goes. If I do the MnO4 minus, let's go back to the black color. I quite like that color. Um, MnO4 minus turning into Mn2 plus. So step one, let's look at the Mn, one Mn, one Mn, sweet, nothing needs to be done. That's four O's, four H2O, um, because I need the four O's, and by adding four O's, I added eight H's. So I need eight H plus on the left hand side to balance the H's, and then let's look at the charge. This is negative one, this is plus eight, altogether my left hand side is plus six. Um, this is plus two, this is zero, Combined together, this is plus two. Again, if you wonder where I get these charges from, just highlight the top right-hand side corner and then ask yourself, what is the charge? Now, this is plus seven, this is plus two. The left-hand side is more positive by five, so I add five electrons. Again, electrons on the left-hand side. This is a reduction reaction. Okay, practice makes, makes perfect. Um, let's do some more. So those are the hardest ones. Um, let's do some, I mean, I mean if you, you know, this is I minus turning into I2. If you want to pause, pause the video and just give it a go yourself, you know, read the rules and then give it a go yourself. But I'm just gonna um, explain it um, so you can pause anytime you want. So this is I minus turning into I2. So first rule is balance the eyes. Um, there's two I on the right hand side. There's only one I here. So I need to balance that two I minus two I2. Now step two, step three don't apply because there are no O's, no H's. So you don't need to do any of those. Let's look at the left hand side. Again, we'll highlight the top right hand side corner, that charge, nothing there. This has a charge of negative, let's do it slowly, negative one times two, so this is negative two, okay? Because there are two negative one, so it's negative two. On the right hand side, this is an element, so it's zero. So you're going from negative two to zero, and this is where people get confused. You add electrons to the more positive side. I know it's hard to believe, but zero is more positive than negative two, okay? So you yeah, had two electrons on this side. 
Okay, and then let's do one more before we wrap it up. If you're going from FE2 plus to FE3 plus, and then there's no balancing involved whatsoever other than the last step. There's no first step, one FE, one FE, done. No H's, no O's, none of that, done. Look at the charge, this is plus two, this is plus three, this is more positive by one electron, and that is your half equation balanced, okay? So it's very, very straightforward. Um, it's the, it's, it's um, yeah, very straightforward. So just one in doubt, come back to these rules, and um, you should be all right. So one thing that I might actually do um, let's do the full equations. Let's balance the full equations. Why don't we balance the full equations? Let me give you another example. Let's say if I'm going from AL to AL3+, plus, and then the other reaction I'm going, let's pick something really easy. Let's go from Br2 to Br-. minus. Okay, so this is a redox reaction. Um, so we can apply what we learned so far. So the oxidation number of that is zero. The oxidation number of that is plus three. This is zero, this is negative one. If you still can't get the hang of this, watch my oxidation number video. Okay, so how do we balance it? This is plus three, this is zero, so I need three electrons on this side. Now for this one, I need to balance it. Um, first step, because there are two BRs, there's only one BR, so I need to put a big two in front. And by doing that, um, this used to be negative one charge, but now there are two of it, so it's a negative two. This side is zero. So I need two electrons on the left hand side. So, you know, remember, redox electrons on the right hand side. This is oxidation, electrons on the left hand side. This is reduction. And this is how you check that you've done it correctly. Because if you have electrons on the same sides, you have done something wrong, 100%. You will never ever have electrons on the same sides if you're doing redox, okay? So next step, these are the full half equations. How do you balance a full equation? So a full equation is when you combine these two things together. And you can see they have a common denominator, which is the electrons. And I deliberately picked this one because this doesn't give us a nice and easy um, cancellation because we, what we want to do, you can think about it. The oxidation loses the electrons and the reduction reaction gains electrons. So both, you know, you need both of them to react. So when the number of electrons being lost and the electrons being gained are not the same, we need to balance them in a way that they will, you know, will change the ratio that they will release and gain the same number of electrons. So we got three electrons here, we got two electrons here. So when we do the full equation, I want to make sure the number of electrons must be the same. They need to be the same. And how do I make them the same is by multiplying this whole thing by two, because that will give me six electrons, multiplying this whole thing by three, which will give me six electrons. And then if I have six electrons on the right hand side, six electrons on the left hand side, then that would mean, yep, same number of electrons being gained, same number of electrons being, um, being lost. So everything else should just be a copy paste. Okay, so we need the electrons to be the same. And if they are already the same, simply combine them. Okay, so in this case, I need to go, so I need to multiply everything by two. So this is where at the beginning, if you're doing this at the beginning, just be patient. There you go. Just, just write it down again, but then I multiply everything by two. The next one, I multiply everything by three. Just copy them down. It's not that hard. Um, because if you don't do it this way at the beginning, you will forget. Because you most likely multiply everything by two in the top one, then you forgot one of them. Then that ruins everything. Now, can you see now, my six electrons on the right and six electrons on the left, they will cancel each other out. So what does that mean? That means I'm gonna combine everything. Let's do it this way. That means you're gonna combine everything on the left hand side together and everything on the right hand side together. So this has just become a copy paste business copy, arrow, copy, and this is your full equation. Okay, so this is probably one of the harder ones. Um, let me give you one more, because this might involve some cancellation. So if I go from, let's give you one more. Um, let's have something that has water in it. Um, all right, so here's NO3 minus turning to NO2. 
and this is a reduction reaction so I need an oxidation reaction uh, this is not the best one let me think let's get rid of that let's get rid of that let's use our awesome and for minus because this is the easiest one to be honest what to give examples for um, we already balanced it as well because this part we're not looking at the balancing we're looking at the um, full equation so if I have what is something that uh, I mean I can just revert okay, okay I'm, I'm this late at night I'm just gonna pick the opposite okay so if I have this particular reaction let's balance it um, this is going to be four water this is going to be eight H plus and this is going to be five electrons okay um, now we've balanced this one so the N's already balanced I look at the O there's two O's three O's I need water and then by adding water I added two H's I add two H's and look at the charge this is zero this is zero this is negative one this is plus two so I need to add I need to add one more electron on the right hand side okay now let's get rid of this so this is my full uh, my half equation I got five electrons on the left hand side I got one electron on the right hand side so first thing first they are on opposite sides so that means I must have done it correctly so what does that mean let's balance it okay and not let's write a full balance equation I mean the easiest way well that's not the easiest way there's only one way is to multiply this entire thing by five why because I need five electrons because I have five electrons in my reduction reaction so it's five and 2 plus five water turn into five and 3 minus plus 10 H plus plus five electrons just so the electron numbers on this on the opposite sides are the same now remember we will need to add everything on the left hand side of the equation together and everything on the right hand side of the equation together because that, that, that's what is ba what balance equation does it combines them together mm -hmm. so we are going to have mno4 minus plus oops that's a bit wrong um plus 8h plus plus 5no2 plus 5h2o now i ran a bit of space because i wrote too big um that's going to turn into um, Mn2 plus plus 4H2O plus 5 NO minus NO3 minus plus 10H plus and I you know this I don't even write the electrons because there's no point okay because they already cancelled each other out actually yeah it's fine you guys can understand this all right so just remember just try fit them in a straight line I just run out of space because I write so big when I'm using the stupid tablet okay now if you write it then like this as your final answer we will mark it out. The reason being, in mathematics, you don't do this. You don't know 2x plus 4 equals 3x, and then you leave that as your final answer. That's not acceptable. You have to solve what x is. Can you see the things I'm highlighting now? Oops. The things I'm highlighting now, can you see they're the same, they're the same type of element? That they're the same thing, different quantity, but the same ion or molecule or element that I'm highlighting they are on opposite sides so they need to cancel can you see there's five water here there's four water here they need to cancel so you need to simplify it so it's going to be mno4 minus plus 5no2 plus 1h2o why because the five and the four cancel out I have one left and that's going to turn into mn2 plus plus 5 and 3 minus plus 2 H plus because this 10 and this 8 cancels out to be the 2 okay so this is a more correct one and this more simplified and that's what you need to do for this particular internal both level 2 and level 3 okay so regardless of um, which level you are you need to be able to do the basics okay so at level 2 this is pretty much you know you need to do observations and things like that um, so I'll probably cover that a little bit more in detail I, I'm I'm just doing the basics um, so if you're someone that's doing level 3 chem but are you struggling with the basics you need to do this okay because it doesn't matter how good your electrochemistry is um, if you don't get this you can't pass okay um, so hopefully 
this has been helpful um i will so the next few um um, episodes will be mainly for the year 13s um, because i'm teaching the year 13s and we're going to lockdowns and you know so um, all the all the all the things i need to cater for is um prioritize the year 13 because the year 12s don't start the internals yet um, but i am aware that some schools may have started with the quantitative analysis um, so once i've done with the redox um, i will start putting things um you know for the for the for the titration stuff um as well on my youtube channel so stay tuned um like and subscribe if you haven't share with your friends that are struggling game and like always um hopefully you learned something and i'll see you guys next time bye bye